Out from the shadows, this is Nick and Ninja with another video for you guys today. Today's just going to be a quick video showing you the newest upgrade, Shield Experience 6.0, that finally brings the full Google Assistance to the Shield TV. I know we're all still waiting for, waiting for our NVIDIA spots like I am, to have different rooms where you can control things a little easier without having like a Google Home, which I have, of course. So this is, this is kind of cool. I mean, it's pretty awesome to be able to do these things. As you see, it's showing up on the screen, and you know this is gonna it'll pull up on your new hopefully your shield. It did on mine. I have the newer shield, um, and I'm just gonna click down download and install and see how long it takes here. And let's see what we get. So we'll just do this in real time. Um, I got a decent connection, usually about 125 or so megabits up. So we'll see how quick it does. It shouldn't take too long. And let's do this restart and install. Cool. That's pretty cool. It shows my shield on there. What? That's crazy. So the thing I, I've heard or been reading about this particular upgrade and the Google Assistant's fully integrated to it um, is that supposedly your remote's going to be always listening. And of course you want to keep the remote next to you. Um, so, oh, Roman's going to go in the way. Hey, Roman. You want to get out of the way there, buddy? Come on. Move. Sorry about this, guys. big puppy dog wants to get in the way. Don't look at me like that, you weirdo. <laughs> uh, anyway, like I was saying, it's going to make the microphone's always listening. Kind of like your Google Home. Um, it connects with everything. And uh, the kind of cool thing is you can get a fire, not fire stick, I apologize, a smart thing stick to take the place of your smart things, um, Samsung smart things. For like 40 bucks, I guess it's pre-ordered on Amazon today. Which is kind of cool. Uh, I don't know how the interface is going to look and if it's really worth it because I have a separate box already for mine to control all my um, home automation stuff. But it'll be, it'll be neat to see. Another thing I'm worried about and wondering how long with this listening mic all the time when it's on is how it's going to affect the battery life of the, of the remote, of course. Because, like, you're, you know, you're like your Google Home's always listening. So we'll see what happens here. This is taking a bit. In the interest of keeping this uh, thing as short as I can, within 10 minutes on the video, I'm gonna pause this real quick and return right before it's done. So I'll be right back. 
Yeah, so it, it took another, I'm guessing, additional, if you add the video, plus another five minutes just for me to get to that point, past that screen. Now it's restarting again. See what how long it takes out of this boot. So if you take, you know, the video, add an additional five minutes to it, it's about I don't know how long it took for it to upload here, so and uh restart a couple of times so far the new experience. It looks the same. Same startup screen and everything like that. It's a long upgrade. It was only almost 500 megs. It looks like about what, 428, I think is what it said. It's taken a little bit of time. But it's great that they're finally doing this. I mean, that was the big selling point, supposedly, air quotes there, that they're going to have a Google Assist added to this. Um, I can see, you'll see it from my Google Home on my Wi Fi network. And I probably can control it from my Google Home. Um, but this might take that out of the process and let's get out of that. So definitely recommend that on the, um, IP vanish for anything, anyone that watches, for instance, like, uh, add-ons and stuff like that. Meaning, I'm sorry, not add-ons. Um, if you ever use, for instance, uh, Terrarium TV and you don't want people looking at your stuff, I definitely recommend the IP vanish, which is this one right here. Works great. And it looks like you're going to have to update your remotes, it looks like, too. So if you go, let's just back out of here, go down to settings and to about. Let's see where we're at. Making sure it did what it said it was doing. Yeah, yep, version 7.0. Sweet, it is completed. Awesome. So that was just a quick video just showing you it is updating and it is available now. So if you got one. You know, see, we'll do system upgrade to double check it, but it shouldn't be anything. Yeah, we're good. Um, if you have a new NVIDIA Shield, or even the old NVIDIA Shield, for what I was told, with the software updates, you can do the same dang thing. So, this is pretty awesome. As always, guys, thank you for watching. If you liked the video, give it a thumbs up. And if you have any questions, just, you know, hit me up in the comment section. I always get back to you as quick as possible. You guys have a great one. Bye.